Any minute now, we are expecting an update on the bus crash in New York that killed two people and injured several others. Police say a charter bus carrying high school students to a band camp in Pennsylvania veered off the highway and tumbled down an embankment. Police and New York Governor Kathy Hochul say a faulty tire may be the cause. That bus was one of six in a caravan carrying Farmingdale High School's marching band, color guard and dancers from Long Island to Pennsylvania. Nicole Johnson from our New York City affiliate has reaction. Raw emotions as students and staff at Farmingdale High School try to make sense of the unimaginable. The loss of two people, their marching band director, Gina Pelletieri, and former teacher and chaperone, Beatrice Ferrari, known as the heart and soul of the band. And she loved band camp. That's all she talked about every year. I go, B, what are you doing going to band camp? She goes, I love it. You know I love being with the kids. It was supposed to be a fun two-day trip. Band camp was something the school looked forward to every year. Thursday, six buses rolled out, headed to Pennsylvania, but they never made it. Just an hour away from their destination, something went wrong. One of the buses went off of the road and down an embankment off I-84 in Middletown. Dozens of students and staff were also hurt. While some students posted their feelings on social media, others just held on to each other. It's pretty, it's pretty sad, but most of the kids are talking to each other and that's how we try to lighten the mood. A memorial with flowers, candles and balloons is growing outside of the school. Classes are not in session. Instead, grief counseling is being done in person and also with comfort dogs to help students. Many of them called their band leader, Mrs. P. She was a light. She was a joy. She always had a smile on her face. Uh, she supported anybody. She always told us not to forget about our dreams. The pain felt after such a loss, those closest to the victim say, is unexplainable. To know both of the women who dedicated their lives to their students is to love them. Just a dynamite person, a young, young person who had so much more in life to give and so much more to give to the students that she loved and future students. And, um, and every student you talk to from the past that had her and her students now, they just adore her. Adore. All right, that was Nicole Johnson reporting. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.